All right, guys. As we all know that uh, this game is ass, you know, first and foremost. And uh, the only thing about it that keeps drawing any of us back to it is uh, pretty much the characters, the uniqueness, their fighting mechanics, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and the promise and hope that this game can only get better and not just die off because Marvel deserves better. You know, Stan Lee's characters, his legacy deserves better than this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, in this video, I just want to talk about a few things that I was thinking about as I was sitting here stoned out of my mind. And I was just like, man, you know what? I need to talk about this. I need to talk about a few things that I think that need to come to this game that can possibly help it out. And I think it all can take place in places like this with a few people that are, you know what I'm saying? But I also believe those few people can be transformed into something else or someone else that can give some kind of glimmer of hope to what the hell is going to be going on or what I'm going to be talking about. So with that being said, let's take a look. Well, you know what? Let's start with the vendors. People like this. This woman, I have no idea who the fuck she is. You understand what I'm saying? This is just some random, like, uh, Alessandre Morales, bro. Look, no disrespect. She'll agent and all that shit, but I know she'll in, in touch with a little bit more higher powered people than this. That, that probably are just waiting to get back into the field. That could be characters sitting at the side over here, modeled up. Modeled up. And you could just take this to your imagination however you want. When I say characters, I'm talking about heroes. Future heroes can be taking these positions. Even if they just models. Let us know that, hey, these, these they got the model. It's coming. Hell, we all said that this game just need heroes and that'll be cool for us. But shit, at this point, man, I'm digging for something a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that some changes come that's going to give some depth. And not only do this dude assign missions with this dude, with this character assigned missions, they be missions that actually mean something. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah, you get your polycorons and your shield faction rewards. But after so long, what does the shield faction shit even mean? You know what I'm saying? We got the championship uh, championship system starting up tomorrow, I believe. And you no, know, it's shit like this that still don't even make a make a difference. I mean, the shield point. I mean, what is what? Once you get to a, a higher level shield faction, what you get better at? You get access to exotic gear over there or something? I don't know. I hadn't looked at one since I realized that it was completely fucking useless. Just like the bitch that always asks for coffee on the helicarrier. She don't deserve no coffee. She didn't even, she didn't decrease her damn inventory. And it ain't shit ever in there. Fire that bitch. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, this shit right here could be used in a completely different manner. You know what I mean? It don't necessarily have to be this unknown chick. It can be somebody else like fucking Daredevil or fucking Spider-Man or Black Widow. I don't know, not Black Widow since we can play with it, but you get where I'm going. You know what I'm saying? So, that can be one thing and, and they can assign missions side missions missions that take us to places hey look i got a thing you go here and it's a high chance on a level four difficulty you're gonna get an exotic you know what i'm saying at least one that's gonna increase the grind factor that's gonna make people like man i'm gonna pick up this mission i got eight missions to go to and do in eight different locations that y'all can put on the damn game you, if y'all, I mean, all it is is just mapping, right? And, oh, it's always a little more than just that. I get it. But what else do these motherfuckers have to do? Do you understand what I'm saying? But fix this game. So, yeah. that I don't think that'd be too far out of the realm of possibility. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, You're helping us win the fight. that's one thing. And that goes for all the vendors everywhere. Each vendor should be different. They should have different missions. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you get shield faction points for this shit. I guess this is what this for. I guess that's what this was for. And it, I mean, come on, bro. This shit ain't even living. This shit is 
ain't even three star. It's only three star, bro. Well, you don't use fucking purple. Nobody's trying to use purple gear. I know me. I ain't trying to have a fucking purple set up. It's a shame that I got that most of the blue and purple shit still good better than the, the gold. That's fucked up, dude. That shit's useless. That shield faction shit need to become something else more, more useful. How about, you know, the ability to reset missions? And that's going to bring me to this, uh, to my next point, which would be the war table. Bruh, if this is supposed to be a live service game, I just played DC the other day. With DC, you get loyalty points when, you be, when, you, when you're a legendary member. Now, I'm not saying that this game needs another pay system. You motherfuckers already paid sixty to a hundred dollars to play it, so fuck that shit. But there should be some kind of uh, some kind of timer. Okay, now hear me out. The damn war table refreshes every fucking minute for whatever reason. Well, if you start a mission, I'm assuming that was made because if you start a mission within the time allotted then the gear of, that was there should be the gear. You understand what I'm saying? It should change. So this shouldn't be the same after that war table refreshes. This should be a different set of gear. And if I'm playing for the next hour or so, then this gear right here should change from a legendary piece to an exotic piece at a certain time. Not only will that make me sit around and play the fucking game, but every time this motherfucker refresh it, and you can even refresh, update the refreshment. It's a five minutes, ten minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's ten minutes that somebody should be looking at this board. I don't know. How long does it take to run a mission for you guys? If I'm just running through it, it don't take me about, what, 10, 15 minutes? Just running straight from one end to the end, other end, you know what I'm saying? Not even that long. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. It, you get where I'm going. This table going to refresh and this shit still going to be the same. It should be the same for everything on this board. Not just that. And let me get back to the, to the focus of what I was talking about with it. With this shit, what you do them a day, once you do them, this is a priority mission. I did it already. It gave me my exotics. That's bullshit. I should be I have the opportunity to reset this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Like DC allows you to play your mission. You play your dailies. And then if you want to play, replay them, you have to reset them. That's what you use your loyalty points for, as I was saying earlier. Sorry, I lost track with that, but that's how I tend to do. I skip around because some things are interesting, uh, more interesting than others. But that's how I do it on DC. If I want to play another mission again and have a chance at getting another high-level piece of gear, then I'll reset that. What, can I re what do we have over here that we can use to reset that? I don't know. A little green currency up there in the corner. Units. You can use a certain, I mean, hell, you can use so many amount of units. So basically, using units to reset missions on the board would be what you can do to reset this so you can have a chance to get a higher. So you can have a chance to get those exotics again. Because I played the first time and I got my exotics with uh I went back and got my exotics with Iron Man. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to go back again and do it, but I wanted to get some exotics with Hulk. With Hulk. But I, I couldn't do it. I, I ran it again and I didn't get shit. You know what I'm saying? If I had the ability to use my units to you know, restart this mission and to get a chance to get that, I would. And you can make it at a reasonable price. I mean, shit. Look at me. I, I don't play that much. And I was just not started playing again. I only got 19 units, 19,000 units. You know, you can't see it behind my parental advisory, but I only got about 19,000 units. So, shit. You know, I can, I, I'd be in hurting if I wanted to reset it. Not to say that it would be 19,000, but shit, maybe a thousand, five thousand, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the high, the, the level of mission. If you, you know, if you're running it again, it don't matter about what level, difficulty level, but depending on the mission giving you an exotic, then yeah, it'll be a high amount of units to reset it. You understand what I'm saying? Point being, you will get the chance to grind some fucking exotics, man. You know what I'm saying? 
Just they seem to be giving them out through priorities at the moment. But that's not to say that that's going to uh, that that's gonna keep going. But the, still, the concept still remains. You know what I'm saying? Being able to reset missions and stuff, that'll, that'll help big time. That'll help with the grind. That'll help with player retention. You know what I mean? I could if then like I say, if this shit refreshed, and I could if it at the certain time of the day between two and six, this was uh I don't know a high chance to get exotics. Then that'd increase people. That increase the chance of people being on the game. I mean, do you not agree? I know I sound like I'm rambling, but you understand what I'm saying. Be a, being able to reset missions and being able to have a, a, a these missions refresh and have a chance to get an exotic at a certain time period will help with players coming back to the game and retention, not al along with maybe character appearances in the uh, places like this, in the hubs, along with patrols. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about just a patrol in one area, too. I'm talking about a patrol anywhere you go. Because anywhere I go, I should be able to run into an iconic uh, Marvel hero who, who's want, who wants me to do something. I like DC, you know what I'm saying? When you go to a certain hub in DC, it's a certain group of heroes or villains that are there who need your help. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Get stopped. Stop. Stop. Y'all making this a little bit harder than it should be right now, man. Especially at this point in this game's life cycle when motherfuckers are barely hanging on, you know what I'm saying? You 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 just don't. You y'all can't. You can't. You know what I'm saying? You gotta take you gotta you gotta be better, man. You gotta do better. And let me know down below what other things would you like to see in this game. And let me know how you feel about the the, the things, just the two a couple things that I believe could help this game in a in a in a big way. Let me know what you think about that, man. And uh, subscribe if you're new. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button for sure because you know that goes a long way. And, and, and talk to me down in the comments, guys. You know what I'm saying? And, and be sure to tune uh Hop on with me live on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? I'll be over there on twitchtv.com forward slash bearded beanie brother. We'll be over there in the beanie shack, bitch getting it in you know what i'm saying all day streams too so hit me up ladies and gentlemen man it, parental advisor if it's too rough for you just let me know you know what i'm saying y'all have a good day let me get this chopped up and, and push job and on to the next one peace